All right, we are Facebook Live for the Laundry Magazine Fashion Show. We have Rachel and Robin. Yes, with Alley Cat Boutique. Hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> can you uh, tell our viewers where uh, they can find you? Um, yes, we're online right now. We're on Instagram. It's Alley Cat, two underscores, boutique. And we're also on Facebook, the same, Alley Cat, under, two underscores, boutique. Right now we're only online, but we're also offering a lot of pop-up shops within the next three or four weeks. Um, awesome. Uh, when's your next pop-up shop? July 18th. Yeah. Is when we're July 18th at Studio 121. Awesome. Yeah. Are y'all excited about tonight? We're very excited. Yeah, we're to see it. yeah, we're super excited to see the message. We think it will be a strong message, and we just want to see what's going on and see what other um, stores have in store and see what's going on. We're excited to be a part of it for sure. Well, we're excited to have you. Can you tell us about your outfits? Yes, tonight? this um, this kimono, it's one of ours. It's new, and this is also a set we have. It's a top and bottom little ethnic crop top and maxi skirt. I love sets right now. Yes, very it's, cute. It's definitely awesome. We can wear it separate. You know, you can do it together, or separate with high waisted jeans or just with shorts or mix and match it. So we're loving it for sure. Very cute. All right. Well, thank y'all for thank coming. Thank you so much. We're so excited. Thank you. Y'all have fun. Thank you, girl. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Who do we have here? What's your name? Gina Hanshi. Hello, Gina. Hi. I love your outfit. Thank you. What What was your inspiration for this? Okay. Well, um, the skirt is Santa Claus. Oh, my God. And it, it says, I believe. So I thought it kind of worked amazing. with the myth yeah. scenario. Yeah. And it's actually a t-shirt that I cut to be a skirt. Look at you. And... Then, so these shoes, this t-shirt skirt, this vest, got today at Goodwill for eight bucks total. Wow. Yeah. I wasn't supposed to say that, but I'm saying it because I'm proud. <laughs> I'm proud of it too. I'm the same way and I'll brag about it all day. I'm like, not only is it amazing, but I also got it at Salvation Army. Yeah. And that makes it more amazing. And sometimes you just can't tell the difference. I mean, I love great, and really like well-made designer clothes, thing. but sometimes it's just how you carry it. Yeah, absolutely. Really. Well, this is a great look. And I love Thank that you. you made a t-shirt into a skirt with Santa Claus <laughs> on it. I didn't even notice. I know. That's, that's, that's why I'm trying to pull it down. If it bunches up, you can't really tell. Right. But that's okay. I know, so that's all that matters. <laughs> well, enjoy the show. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Thank you very much. Uh, so can I get your names? My name is Trey. I'm Abby. <laughs> Cindy. And tell me about uh, what you guys are wearing tonight. Oh, well today, I just kind of threw this together. Ain't too serious, you know. Um, this is a gift from a friend named Lonnie. Shout out Lonnie. And yeah. Love a shout out. Love a well, shout out. I, I worked in the rice field today. Uh, For you know, real? No, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, no. I believe you. <laughs> no, I just, I dig this hat. And this, I got this dress from Three Little Birds, and I have no shoes, so I just wear sandals. Awesome. It works. Um, after deciding for like ever what I was gonna wear, I just threw on something, and walked out the door before I changed again. I love it. Are you guys excited for the show tonight? Oh yeah. Have you been to the show before? Not at all. No. 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 Y'all are gonna enjoy it. All right. Well, y'all all look great. Y'all have fun tonight. <laughs> Have a good night. Hi. Hi. Hello, lovely. Can we introduce you? <laughs> Come on, Alfredo. Let's introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Alfredo Gray. <laughs> Who are you representing today? Well, I'm actually a guest of Cobra Club Vintage, Holly Harrison here in Lafayette. Oh, I know Holly. Yeah. I didn't know that was her. Yeah, she's doing by appointment only vintage clothing. And she's on Instagram, right? She's on Instagram at Cobra Club Vintage. And she's just doing it by appointment? You, you know, can't... You can, you can di direct message and get in contact with her and she'll meet you there. Maybe have some champs. That's always a fun time. Yeah. Uh, so what... If you had to pick a good vintage trend that you would want to come back, what would you pick? Mm, vintage kimonos. Vintage favorite. Asian kimonos right now, yeah. They're comfortable They're hot. and beautiful. Yeah. That's what I love. This is so hard to do with one mic, by the way. Sorry. Yeah. That's his latest crush. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that your like, latest crush though? Yeah. That little fucking... I wear them every day. Vest? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Donna, every day. Hey. Like my uniform. 
a kimono? Yeah, it's like a little. A little wrap? Seen? Yeah, it's a little wrap. I got Have it you seen Buddhist Kimmy mom. Schmidt? On no, Netflix, no, Kim is there's a character who always wears a kimono on that show. Okay. His name is Titus Andromedon, and he has a collection of kimonos, and that's okay. his thing. Well, I got mine from a Dallas Buddhist monk temple. Oh, so yours are legit. Hello? Wow. Um. <laughs> well, we're excited to have you. Thank you. Are you excited, excited to, to see here. the show? Yes, I'm excited. Yay. Yay. Thank you for coming. You Thank look you. great. Thank you. You do too. Thank have you. Fun. I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. Can you tell us your name? My name is Larissa Keen. I'm from Litro Vintage. Okay. Well, we just asked him about what his favorite, I'm gonna ask you the same question. What is like your favorite vintage trend that you would love to like come back? Oh gosh, well right now I'm really into beach pajamas, which is what I'm wearing. So okay. they're from the 1930s. This is That's what amazing. Wear to the beach. Um, in the 1930s. So you do, is, would, would that qualify as a jumpsuit or that's specifically beach pajamas? Uh, the most specific name would be beach pajamas, but yeah, it's yeah. definitely a jumpsuit. I love it. Thank you. Can you tell us about uh, your necklaces? So they're um, different snakes. So these are um, prisoner of war beaded snakes from World War One. The wow. Turkish prisoners would actually make these, and then these are Czech glass bead snakes. So as you they're can tell, beautiful. Have a little bit of a snake thing. Yeah. <laughs> Who does? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you're excited for the show tonight? I am. They always do a great job putting everything together, and I just love seeing how everything comes together. They have such creative minds. So. What was your inspiration for your outfit tonight? Well, um, I kind of the myth logic, so I kind of snakes. incorporated the snakes a little bit of a Medusa vibe, yeah. kind of like a little bit of a myth going on there. And well, I love this color palette. Thank you. Beautiful. Where are your favorite vintage places to shop, like to get your good? Um, actually, Instagram is a great oh. source for vintage. A lot of people sell directly on Instagram, and then of course eBay. You can still find some stuff on eBay. You have That's to where I got this dress. I do love that eBay. dress. <laughs> eBay all the way. Oh, yes. Have you watched Girl Boss yet on Netflix? I have, yes. I kind of binge watched it as soon as it came out. Uh, I did too, <laughs> but that's how she started. She started doing it. She went and get got vintage pieces and then refurbished them and sold them, you know, online. I think she's kind, kind of what, what every vintage person aspires to be a little bit. <laughs> There's an official plug for Girl Boss yeah. on Netflix. <laughs> Netflix, send us our money. Thank you. Well, have fun tonight. You look amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, you so much for you. being here. Thank, Thank you. you. So nice and you want to plug you. your store again? Yes, Latro Vintage. You can find me on Instagram at Latro Vintage. Dot, uh, not dot com. At Latro Vintage. Also on Facebook and then on Etsy. Latro dot Etsy dot com. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much. So I am wearing uh, H and M shoes. You know that I got in Austria. I broke my boots, my favorite Laredo vintage boots, oh, on the top of a mountain. Well, Beautiful, the best, the best boots you've ever seen. And you wouldn't believe it. Were they H&M? They were Laredo. I bought them for $2. Oh, well, my yeah, ex-girlfriend bought them for $2. But, so, I broke them. I couldn't find a shoe cobbler. So I had to, I had to get, I had to go to the nearest H&M and buy some $40 shoes, 40 euro shoes, really, because they have euros, not dollars, right. right? And we're wrapping it up. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for viewing. Dave, if you're there, it's me, Margaret. God, thank you. Amen. Amen. All right, that's our cue. If you're watching this, please take your seat. <laughs> At the comfort of your own home, Listen I'm sure. me, I'm on TV.
Thank you so much for being here. You know, these projects are, they take a lot of our time, but they're strictly passion projects. And this concept addressing political issues that we felt the need to agree, uh, showcase was a very vulnerable and very bold and it took a lot of bravery from the crew and the model, so I really would like for y'all to give them a round of applause. I don't know how many people we have here that are unaware of what laundry is, but we only have a mission, and it's inclusivity. We accept people of all races, of all religions, of all body shapes and sizes, of any gender, any gender identification, because we do realize that there's only one power and that that power comes in unity. And if we don't stand up for what we believe in, then we become as violent as those that are actually violent against other people. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I wanna, I wanna first uh, thank some people that really made this possible, and it's our sponsors. We had, for the first time, the actual help of really important people that are movers and shakers in our community. The Acadiana Incubator Kitchen with Zach and Matt and Caracor Disco. Please give them a round of applause. Claire Cook from Basin Arts also. Bayou Tesh Brewery, the Acadiana Center for the Arts, they, they were super supportive of our concept and told us to not hold back. Um, Kiki, uh, we have you guys. I'm very nervous, so I'm just kind of like, can't think of it. But also, the models that were a part of this uh, Nicole and her team of hairstylists. I mean, I don't know if y'all agree, but that was like outrageous hairstyling. Cat Bones and her team of makeup artists also, they really, really brought those statements out. And especially Lindsay Bradley, who has been my partner in all of these crazy projects. Please give her a round of applause. She actually made, handmade a lot of these items that we're presenting to you tonight. And I want to thank AOC because they were in charge of a lot of the main uh, live streaming and a lot of the equipment. ACA, Kyle and Cam, Blake Ortega, who actually created the music. He composed the music that we were featuring tonight just for this show. And lastly, Lafayette for allowing Laundry to continue to keep growing. Thank you very much.